They call it the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, and here are the benchmarks that are gonna be coming up in just a few minutes. Now there's been a lot of conversation of the Legion 7 versus the Legion 5 Pro. So I'm gonna have that video linked up here when it comes out. I've also done a full unboxing of this laptop to give you my full first impressions, build quality opinions, and just really overall design thoughts. But in this video, in order to save time, I'm just gonna go through what we did not cover in the unboxing. Now regarding the audio experience, here is a little test for you of the speakers. If you're considering this laptop for content creation, then obviously color gamut range is a big deal. And here are those specs coming up on the screen now. Using this laptop while testing for the past couple of weeks, I've really enjoyed the quiet keyboard and the pretty large trackpad. It's not huge, but it's pretty good size. And here's a good sample of the audio of the trackpad and the keyboard deck. Now battery life is one area that I was trying to really optimize and I found a setting called, well, I feel ashamed to say I missed it the first time when I went through the Legion 7, but it's called conserve power mode. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh, but anyway, the battery life was much better when turning on hybrid mode and conserve power mode. Now, however, you can only charge the battery to 60% while on conserve power mode. So you're gonna make sure you turn that off, then get a full charge, then turn it back on to get great battery life. Now for Premiere Pro and for Photoshop, those tests were run in Premiere Pro using a 4K project on loop until the battery went dead. And for Photoshop, I ran Puget Systems Benchmark on repeat until the battery went dead. Now regarding the ports, you have a large selection of ports on this laptop. On the back of the laptop, you have your charger port, USB type A, HDMI, two more USB type A's, a USB type C, and a network jack. On the left side of the laptop, you have a USB type C and a headphone jack. And then on the right side of the laptop, you have a USB type A and a manual cutoff switch for the webcam. If you're curious about the exact pricing of the Legion 5 Pro that I have in front of me, you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, we'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Without further ado, let's jump right into the benchmarks. We're gonna start with the simulated benchmarks in Cinebench R20, R23, and Geekbench single core, as well as multi-core. Now let's jump into the real world tests and take a look at 3D modeling in Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks. As you can see, this laptop is an absolute beast on 3D modeling, but let's see how well it handles After Effects. The general After Effects benchmark is really good, but not necessarily great. Where this laptop really starts to show off is in the rendering benchmark within After Effects. Now moving on to video editing, you can see coming up on the screen now, 1080p through 6K video editing export times. Now regarding playback in Premiere Pro, it had no problems with 4K playback, did pretty well with 6K B-RAW, and then really saw some struggles with the 6K RED footage. Regarding DaVinci Resolve, the playback was smooth and the export times were pretty good. Now I do use the free version of DaVinci Resolve, which is why you're seeing slightly longer export times out on DaVinci Resolve with this laptop. A new test that I've started to run, which I think a lot of you are really enjoying, is the thermals, export time, and fan noise at each fan mode inside of the computer's software. Now moving on to Photoshop, this laptop doesn't top the charts, but it gets a fantastic score. You're gonna have no issues if you're a designer working in the Adobe Creative Suite, or perhaps in Sketch, Figma, or the Affinity Suite. Mm -hmm. 
Now, same thing with video editing. I'm running the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark on different fan modes, so we can check the score, thermals, and fan noise at each of the settings. For the overall thermal test, I like to do a hard press into a 4K video editing export out of Premiere Pro. And as you can see, this laptop has a nice balanced thermal with a stabilized temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. With solid battery life, great performance in the Creator App Suite, and a color accurate screen, this is a great on-the-go large screen Creator laptop. If you want to check out the head-to-head -head review or unboxing, links will be here. Otherwise, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't want to miss out on the future episodes. I'll see you here in the next one.